From the kids enjoying their first taste of action at a blitz, to our senior sides competing at the highest level, and everyone in between, it is our aim to give them every chance to simply be the best they can be. To do that, we have to ensure that our players, at all ages and in all grades, have the tools and the facilities to help them achieve that goal and fulfil their potential. To that end, we have ambitious plans in place to upgrade and improve the centre at Listen, bringing it up to the standard that meets the modern needs and requirements of all our county teams. And for our vision to become a reality, it costs money. In that regard, we are launching this big fundraiser in connection with our fellow hard-working Kilbernia committee members in America. We will be holding a competition to win a house in Fermanagh and have secured a wonderful property in Enniskillen, ideally situated for all the beauty and wonderful tourism spots that Fermanagh has to offer and also perfect for many of the attractions within our island, including the Wild Atlantic Way. Attractions such as the Marble Arched Caves, the wonderful Loch Erne, Crumb Castle and the Leek Pottery will all be on your doorstep if you win this fantastic prize. The house, a new four bedroom detached house in an exciting new development on the outskirts of our county town in Skillen is a superb prize, whether you're a local or if you're looking for a home to enjoy a holiday. Thank you for your support as we step forward with this venture to improve the facilities that will give every young person in Fermanagh the opportunity to be the best they can be.
It should be an interesting game today. Uh, for Man and Mayo, not, they wouldn't meet too many times. For Man and Mayo hasn't met too often in uh, hurling. They meet several times in football. But today there's nothing wrong with the setup. Eden is in perfect shape. Mm -hmm. Everything's looking very good. There was not a wind. And hopefully everything goes very well and for Man as we have. Yeah, Eden ground looking absolutely superb. And probably a big thing the we're seeing so many games being played out here at the moment, Brewster Park. Still unplayable for the month of February. Do you think that will make any difference to the teams here today? You know, bringing Mayo out to Edinburgh. Well, it'll not make much difference because Mayo holders hasn't been in in Brewster Park either uh, for a long, long time. Anyway, as long as I can remember, they haven't been in Brewster Park for a long time. And uh, but Fermanagh has a wee bit of experience in Edinburgh. Of course, so Fermanagh, as we were saying, lost last week to Monaghan, and the round three game is going to be another tough clash at, at home to Roscommon, who we seen drawn of Mayo last week, but. Just looking through the Fermanagh team, one massive, massive loss is, of course, Danny Teague, not featured today. Uh, Danny's away. He's getting married himself this year, so he's probably away making some kind of preparations for his own wedding. But we have a few changes on the Fermanagh team, um, but we're going to quickly run through it. Mark Curry, Kieran Duffy, Rory Portis, Dylan Banner comes in for Kieran Breslin, Ronan McGurn. Peter your own club, Ryan Bogue, number six and captain. And then number seven, Aidan Flanagan drops out for 17, Ben Corrigan. Midfield again, Keelan Duffy and Thomas Cleary. By the centre half forward line of John Paul McGurry. The ever efficient Sean Corrigan will be wearing 24. And Brian to him, of course, of Money Gold Offley. And the full forward line, Jimmy Tormey, Luca McCusker, and St John's Belfast, Dan and McHugh. As we stop well in the forest. Peter, of course, going into this game, Mayo will be will be strong favourites, as we were saying. They, they got relegated last year after losing to Wicklow, 16-15, that relegation final, whereas we, of course, beat Longford to get promoted. Fermanagh is going to be severely tested today. So Fermanagh will be severely te uh, tested, certainly, but they've got uh, every one from the back to the front. They've got big guts. They play with their guts, and they just jump on, play horns, all they want to do. So Mayo's going to have to be good to be sharper than, uh, than Fermanagh. The Mayo team, of course, today selected as per programme, but as I was just reading last week, the three of us common, they actually um, had 13 players featured for the first time in the National Hurling League. So a bit of a change of the guard maybe in Mayo Hurling as the game gets underway through referee Matthew Farrell of Roscommon. And it's Ryan Bogue and he's, he's held up slightly there, but Aidan Phillips and Bally Hornis now comes to the ball forward. But be a good touch, Danny, but just misses out. And they are on the tack early on with Joe Mooney. Mooney looking Joe for a bit Mooney. of space. Fine start for Mayo early Fine on. Fine start for Mayo, yeah. As we get ready for Luck a couple Luck Ray, man. Joe Mooney. Mark Curry getting ready for this puck out course. 
number of Mayo players from the Terrain clubs still uh, to feature back. I think there's two of them back in the, the squad today. They just missed out on the All-Ireland Intermediate Hurl title against Limerick side. Mona Lane has man to come forward again. And this time it's Jimmy Tormey. Tormey looking for a bit Good of space. Tried to free it out, but, well, partially a judge, I was just thinking there. Ben Corrigan was about to strike over, but instead of that, it's a Mayo free out. Blowing for a throw ball. Mayo come forward again. It's just this by corner forward, Jason Coyne. And, well, the burners are on for Dylan Bannon. Bannon does well. And the Messi and their Ryan Bogues down there to help him as well, but Mayo come again. Mayo in this bright, bright red jersey. And That's the second point for Mayo. Good. Same, same score again with Jim Domini. Two points to no score early on. Mayo definitely started the brighter here, as I was saying. Referee Matthew Ford for Scotland and with him. There's a goal with Slago and another Ross Common man who right in front of us here. Hooked in by Ben Corrigan. The work to do with Jimmy Torrey shows a bit of skill, but that's good defend from James Murphy, who brings it out and feeds it to the wing half back Mark Phillips. And here come Mayo again. This time it's through quarterback James Lyons, just right in front of us. And, well, Luca McCusker doing well. Of course, Luca McCusker who featured heavily this year for Jordanstown University in the Conor McGurk Cup. Luca's father is a, a proud hurler, yeah. John McCusker. Luca's a huge, huge talent for the future for this man hurling. Team. Huge talent, young cub, young fellow, showed well for his college. Also a very good footballer too for McGuire's Bridge. As Luca McCusker just down right in front of the stand here. Good crowd coming in. Joseph Park and puts that low and he gets a second bait of the cherry, but right. better for Mayo and Mayo was very fast on the ball here now. Yeah, Daniel Huan who of course featured heavily for Terrain this year. In that mess raised all air and club run. Yep. So midfielder Cormac Phillips of the Valley Honest Club. Looking to drive this forward. As I said, Mayo started the breaker here and laid two points to no score. Cormac Phillips. Big hit. Just trickle sure. away. You know. Just looking around, what do you think? Would Joe Baldwin be happy with that from Man of Start? He's Joe. been a bit laboured. Well, Joe's going to have to keep the show going. It should be happy enough. Like We're never going to get going very fast against a team that's we're playing above the level of us. But we're still good enough for compete, competing. Mark Curry pops it out. And, uh, Luke McCusker does well with a stick, but it's collected by Luke Connor. Connor leads it out to the other wing half back, Mark Phillips, and Phillips drives it forward. Huge test with the full back and full forward line. That's in the Rory Port as well. Oh, yes. Rory Port has done well. Rory Port might off. be hurt. He might be hurt. He's holding his hand anyway, a good bit. Great servant of the Sman Hurlers over the past number of years. Rory Port has. His family, family would have a bit of hurling in Antrim. Just talking about R Antrim, here's Ryan Bogue of the St. Enders Glen Gormley Club. So he's going to puck that. Centre half forward line, but that's, to contest them. that's a superb catch by Cormac Phillips, and here come Mayo again. But better work this time by Brian Tehan. Of course, places hurling down in County off play. Tehan looks to fade it out. But Mayo winning the second duels early on, and here comes number 11, Joe Mooney, who started the game impressively so far. It's booked in nicely by Conor Murray, and a bit of space opened up here for Mayo's Adrian Phillips. Phillips goes for oh, the goal. Great save. That's a fantastic save. Fantastic save by Mark Cry. Looks like he's going to get a. He's called the game back for a free. Chance. Just early on, the, the Mayo midfield seems to be. Getting seen a lot more of the ball. The way Mick feels tall, and strong, and, and, and they're catching their puck outs. There's an early yellow card to John Paul McGarry, the man at number 10. John Paul seems to get a yellow card because he's tall all the time. He uh, looks he looks big, he looks awkward, but. Picked up a lot of yellow cards throughout the last couple of seasons. Exactly. Of course, for Manor, they lost to Monaghan last week to Russ Common to come, and then the, the further away games to the likes of Loud and Armagh. As we watch the full point again, and Mayo now three points to the good. 
That one way did one point for the Mayo midfielder. That was Mark Curry. Did you get this? Ball out. It's okay. And this is going to be a good test now for the Fmana. Uh, that's better play that's picked up this time by Ronan McGurn. McGurn. Good ball. Better play this from Fermanagh. Have they got the finished product? Looks good. That's a fantastic score by Keelan Duffy. Keelan Duffy. Did it really well, I must say. Ronan McGurn featured good very score well from there. Play. That's a good response from Fermanagh. Three points to one. Corey Lane, Castle Bar. Let's it go. Middle and mm -hmm. Thomas Cleary had it and just lost it in Cormac Phillips. Lugs it into the corner. In comes Paddy Dazio looking for that bit of space. Dazio, nice ball to another midfielder, Daniel Huron, club captain. Huron tries to stay on his feet. He does have support. Huron's going himself. And puts it over the bar. Mayo aren't missing much here early on. Mayo's missing very little. They're very tidy on the ball. And it's very hard to tackle him on when he's running forward all the time because you have a foul before you know it. Short puck out this time. Connick side leading four points to one. Ryan Boat takes the ball on himself and feeds the experienced fullback Roy Portis. But well, he Portis blocked is him. blocked up by Adrian Phillips. And here comes Mayo. And it's through Marte and Good hook there, good hook. Well, Corey does well and gets it away. Feeds it to Kieran Duffy. Duffy, a lot of work to do down right in the very corner. Good ball. Out nicely to the, their sole point score at the moment, Keelan Duffy. Here comes Fermanagh again. Trying to push forward, Ray and Bogue. Well, let in hard. Good ball, no, Sean Corrigan. Here's Sean Corrigan. Fermanagh's top scorer from last year. 24 in his back. Uh, uh, I thought he was being fouled there a bit. Sean Corrigan's labelled, he can score all these frees. He has a lot of hurling played in his day now. Of course, Fermanagh is missing a couple of fine footballers too at the moment. Sean Corrigan's brother, Kieran and Conor McShea, who's the Fermanagh footballers this year. But um, Sean Corrigan, a great servant of Fermanagh hurling down through the years. Sean Corrigan, yeah, and his dad was a big servant to Lisbelow Club. But Lis Lisbelow Stephen and Corrigan's. Fermanagh footballers facing down here next next Saturday. That one's at one o'clock here in Edernay. Must just look around here, Edney's ground, fantastic condition. It's fantastic. I see that there's some people complaining that it's restricted to 1,500 people next week. Well, as we see, full forward Luca McCusker, he's put these over plenty of times for Jordanstown this year in the Conor McGurr Cup. Right just wait. Just, just wait. Just wait, just crap wide of the left hand Close. post. It's early on, it's four points to one. And it's Barry Lane. Castle Bar, of course, he was playing on his home ground last week against Roscommon Lane. That's a fine strike out, but well, looking there between Vogue and Joe Mooney. Come on, on Duffy. Here comes Keelan Duffy. Looking to free it out. But again, it's to that man, Adrian Phillips, who's seen a lot of the ball early on. Here comes Mayo, already in front. This could be an early goal chance for Mayo if they find the space, but well, that's brilliant defending. But again, it's a free in for Mayo. And well, it could have been a, it was a real goal chance early on. It was a goal chance, yeah. Fermanagh done very well to track back to even get touch on that. Yeah. It was a worry for the Fermanagh man from the team. John Paul McGarry's already on the yellow card. And that would be a big call to make there. He's getting spoken to again. Cormac Phillips to try and make it a four point game. I think as they say in the golf, it was called a gimme. A gimme, yeah, right. And he gets it. Five points to one. May have started brightly, and we suppose we probably expected that. We started expecting that, surely, but uh, Fermanagh hasn't settled really into the game yet, but they will settle, they will. No. Get a couple of wee bricks. Mark Curry is a short night again to Ryan Bogue. Bogue launches it high in the dead on the air. Oh, great catch. Terribly caught. Luke Connor trying to find a bit of space, trying to get past Sean Corrigan. But Connor's been done and well, Sean Corrigan done well there. Sean Corrigan done well, that was a great catch by me, it was number four. Connor Murray. Luke McCusher coming out to try and go for this again, this time on a different angle. It's pretty much the same place the last time, but just a different angle. Of the just pitch. the opposite side of the pitch, yeah. Just down past the Fermanagh. 
So bench as we look on, we do see a Fermanagh sub maybe getting ready to come on here. And that could be a that could be for John Paul McGarry after that yellow yard incident early on. Yeah. But here's Luca McCusker trying to bring it down to a three point game. A good puck. Look his uncle Seamus done gold for a long time for Fermanagh. Just falls short this Stand time. Short. Neil come out again with the long haired James Lyons. Come on, a puck, side lane puck. As I was saying, look his uncle Seamus done gold for Fermanna for money's a year. And we're knowing then to manage Fermanna hurlers. And I'm sure if you could see him, he's here somewhere now. Yeah. As we say, number 11, Francis McBride coming on for John Paul McGarry. I don't think McGarry's seen it yet. And will be very disappointed when he sees this, but I think that's just crept into all What's right? football, Ireland, maybe even the Premier League, and early Yannick Yard does that. Poor John Paul, he's unfortunate. He just, he's just six foot five, or maybe six foot six, and he looks big. He's, he's not doing... Well, this time it's going to be Brian Tate. Brown lobs it in, but well, oh, right easy pickings, but not for man enough numbers back to try and get the ball again, though they don't, and that's well picked up by John Hardy. Started the game well here, but better play that from Thomas Cleary. Of course, Hurling now for Wolf Tones over in Liverpool. Ian Wentz for that spectacular, oh, still, still in play, but well, Mayo come back out again, and it's through wing half back, Mark Phillips for a bit of space. James Lyons, Lyons right in front of the Fermanagh. No good now is the corner, wing half board, Adrian Phillips. Phillips trying to get away from the newly injected in Francis McBrain. But that's well taken a in good there take. from Ronan McGurn. McGurn's really come on this last year or two. McGurn's come on very well. He's, he's, he's against, full of sport in his family. His brothers play football for the county. Yes, of course, a brother, Dora McGurn. Dora McGurn. Ben the neck club. And well, Referees give a re-in, but well, the man is playing on Taking here. Taking it quick. It's Dana McHugh. First real eyes of Dana McHugh in the home pitch here. Of course, places St. John's up in Belfast. But, well, well back from that. Got a little bit Fermanagh's fighting back there. It'll be hard to see what the referee's going to do here in this one, but both teams are really going for it here. And, well, Luca McCusker seems to be there, but well, it's Danny Hill. Ali Honus, with the Connor Murray. Murray lashed it, but well. Brindley Redbeck here in Duffy. Well out in front of Well out in front, Keenan Duffy. Sean Corrigan, he did all to do, but again, Mayo just winning that second ball, but that's better than maybe Thomas Cleary. Already, you're sort of thinking maybe next score is pretty crucial here in this game. It is, of course. It is well and well. He's gone for great a hit, Luca McCusker. Big hit. Some score. And a great score. A great score. Pretty much right in the middle of the field. Luke Pretty much right, yeah. Short hand pass back to Luca and he launched it into the sky and slid over the black bit. Young, young man. Of course, was a, was a feature for St. Michael's footballers as well when they won the Hogan Cup. And of course, plays a bit of football as well from Maguire's Bridge and man underage teams. But at the moment, oh. Francis McBride looking for that man McCusker again. But just misses it this time, and in comes Mark Phillips. Fades it low this time, but that's good play by Ryan Bogue. And that's better from Fermanagh. And all of a sudden, Fermanagh have come into this game that bit more. As the two youngsters. Duffy. The two Duffy young guys. Better play than that Fermanagh. Can they get something out of this? It's drilled in low. Can they get a turn? He can. Jimmy Tormey trying ah, to get away here. fouled all the time. That's a free in. A great bit of hurling there. But much better of from Fermanagh. A good, strong 50-50 ball by Ryan Bogue went to get it, but Ryan's he's, he's still down on one knee. See that with the likes of Kieran Duffy, Keelan Duffy, and then of course Luca McCusker. All young, young men, all under the age of 22, 23. But they featured brilliantly there, and this is a massive chance now to bring it back to a two-point game. Luca McCusker. Five points through, male lead. Another gimme you'd call that part, really. A great, great hit. Five points to three, and 
Two Nasty scores from Luca McCusker. Yes, it will come into a little bit of a purple patch here, and the things are sharpening up. And Francis McBrain getting on the ball early on too. That'll do his confidence very good after he's coming on as it's popped out. Romeo's Barry Lane. Messi, have it again. Brilliant play there from Keelan Duffy. He's really featured heavily after scoring that opening point for Fermanagh. Drilled in by Francis McBrain. Well, a launch of McBrain stood over the bar. Great what ball. Great ball. What a score from Francis McBrain. Featured only in bits and pieces last year throughout the league campaign with the with injury and then well that's much better from Francis McBrain. But here come Mayo again. Five points to the four. Mayo looking to get back into this game. That's a bit of space for Adrian Phillips to run into. Phillips. Oh, what a whack of a goal. What a goal. Can't very hard to defend against that. That was a brilliant goal from Adrian Phillips. That's a real sucker punch to Fermanagh. Sucker punch. We scored three points in a row. And, Mayo go back and, do and that they just there. come back with a goal. Fermanagh four points, Mayo one five. But I just don't think there's no defending that there. A bit of class. No, that was a great goal. Great goal. So... Here's Francie McBride. Same plenty in the ball after scoring that wonderful score just before that Mayo goal, but that's good defending by Connor Murray. Murray does well and frees it out. Joe Mooney. Mooney looking for midfielder Cormac Phillips. Phillips. <laughs> Phillips has started very well here for Mayo. And well, once again, Addy Dazio just comes out second best. Cornerback. Kieran Duffy Duffin. doing playing very well in the corner there. Certainly is. It's up high. Right in front of the lines, man. Mana come again, but well, it's well blocked down. Oh. And Joe Mooney lets it go from distance. Oh, wide. Mayo have uh, two, and it could be Mayo's first wide. That's Mayo's first wide. And Se second wide of the, the game. Um, actually, Phillips with both wides, but Phillips has been impressive so far. Phillips has been very impressive, and uh, it's hard to match that big man in the middle of the field, yeah. they can't Right Come on, get to lane ball down right in front of us here. Ian and Duffy doing well there. And, and all ready, as I was saying. Referee from Roscommon. Bit of a iconic field of the referees today. Roscommon, Galway, Sligo and Roscommon. Yep. Come on, of course. Yeah. Trying to get the first point of this league campaign. Doug Hay from Ray and Bogue. Trying to get a bit of... Heels away and he does get away. Oh, Ryan away. But close, but if man get back into this game, they're really going to need them scores. They're going to have to get them scores, everyone. Uh, it would be a slight breeze in Mayo's favour here, but it's not It's not big now. Yeah. As Mayo coming again. And it's through the impressive Adrian Phillips. Phillips lets it high in. Ball going up for Joe Hardy. He's a lot of work to do, Hardy. But Roland McGurn really putting his body and his strength in there, McGurn. Big, big man. And well, it could be classed uh, as, 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 as a clean shoulder, but yeah, we're not the referee. We've yeah, got to say, once it blows, there's something happening. Well, hmm. Cormac Phillips so far, he's, he's at Mayo's two wide. But and two points. Man of four points, Mayo one five. We're bringing this game live today on Fermanagh GA TV from St. Joseph's Ground here in Edirne. Most of Park unplayable for the month of February. And next Saturday at 1 o'clock it will be down in Fermanagh in the National Football League Division 3 class. Of course, the Fermanagh Footballers beating Longford here in round one last week. Losing out to a last kick of the game point from Offaly. It's going down by a point. But that's football. Today's hurling. And here comes Mayo's midfielder. That's it. a good score, Robert still Phillips. over the bar again, right from a tight angle. Yeah, Phillips has been impressive, he's probably been one of the impressive players so far. Definitely so. With the Mayo team himself and Adrian Phillips. As the man of coming again, looking for that bit of space. Luca McCusker grabs it at first to ten seconds. Good catch. Here he's gone for it. Of course, places hurling over in England. Nice bit of skill there from Sean Corrigan. A good bit of skill from Sean Corrigan. Good score. Or Sean Corrigan top scored from Fermanagh Hurlers last year. And yeah, Sean. First score today. He certainly has it in the locker. He's going a long time and certainly another good footballer as well from Maguire's Bridge. That's right, Sean Corrigan's playing football. Living up the country a bit now, but plays a wee bit yet. 
Come on, back in another wee bit of a purple patch here. Hopefully so as, as midfielder Keelan Duffy starts another attack. And that's a fine bit of running from Sean Corrigan. Corrigan looking to break away, looking for a bit of space here. Corrigan Great score. Yeah, good score, Ben Corrigan. Ben Corrigan for his mana. Two Lisbelow men linking up. Maybe just not as many as Lisbelow hurlers as we used to see in a Fermanagh team. The Fermanagh team used to be Lisbelow hurlers, at least 14, and we had mostly one from Irvinstown. And now we have, uh, I'm just looking at the setup today, we have eight from Lisbelow. Yeah, uh, it just shows you there's, there's clubs there, like St Patrick's. Yeah, well, there's hurling in Fermanagh, they're just gathering the people up. I see a, a man, Jimmy Tormey from St Patrick's. Another fine footballer as well. Yes. It's unbelievable the amount of players, especially the Fermanagh hurling team. I don't know about Mayo, but the Fermanagh hurlers, the amount of them actually play Gaelic football too. Uh, Fermanagh is a small county and you need everybody. And there's another great score by Fermanagh. Uh, by Ben Corrigan. Now two points in a row for Ben Corrigan. Two points in about a minute and a half. Ben Corrigan. Yeah. Horse Warren 70, only come into the team. Nate on for Aidan Flanagan. And it's seven points to 1-6. Ah, good pitch. This is better from Fermanagh, as I was saying. But trying to find that space. Adrian Phillips up in again, and Duffy this time loses out. And well, no, Duffy's no use. Ronan McGorn is probably harshly a judge this time, and I think this time that was probably a harsh enough one there. Harsh enough one, Keen, but Kieran Duffy doing very well there in the corner there. That's. Man, I won't complain. No, there's no. And it's Ryan Bogue. Ryan Bogue enjoying hurling up in Antrim. Ryan Bogue enjoys hurling everywhere. He just plays hurling, but it's it's organised hurling. It's there's not big hard work. Everybody does their own bit. Yeah. So Bogue launches it. Same ball. Same man. Same take. Yeah. Verby took by Brian Tehan. Tehan has he got the finish? Just misjudged the slightly. He's down right in the corner, right in front of the scoreboard. Oh, he's blue for over. Done over Carrion. Mayo's very hard tacklers are coming. They're, they're, they're tackling in twos and threes all the time, so yeah. very hard to get rid of the ball then. Of course, the Mayo team, they played five league games last year. They, they lost four, they drew one, they lost to Wicklow then. 16 points to 15, that has them in Division 3A this year. Of course, Fermanagh had the opposite, and they had promotion from Division 3B. If anything, it's a bit of a change from your usual, your Cavan, your Leitrim, your Longfords. Yeah, it is a bit, teams. Sp bit faster, but... And we're seeing that too in the Nicky Rackhard Cup course. For man, will be fa facing teams like Donegal, Armagh, Louth. Whereas Mayo in the Christie ring, again. That's right. Testing times, but that's much, for, much further down the calendar month. Mayo just put that ball wide and we have a 65. Oh. Mana seven points. Mayo one, one six. Fermanagh has scored seven times and Mayo has scored seven times, but one of theirs is a goal. With, um, it's coming up to 24 minutes played. Joe Ball will be happy enough, 24 minutes in. Joe Ball will be very happy to have scored nine or seven times against Mayo. Of course, John Paul McGarry going off was a was a bit of a loss, but Francis McRain's come on and done well. Yeah, Francis McRain done very well. Cormac Phillips is very good at these frees here now. Uh, well. I just must have rattled him because we put that one wide from a 65. So, Fermanagh 7, Mayo 1 6 as we enter the 24th minute. And as we were saying, Joe Bowden will be happy enough with this start from Fermanagh. Joe Bo yeah, he should be very happy. He's a, he's a passionate man about holding Joe Bowden. He certainly is. Fermanagh coming again, and this time through Dylan Bannon. Uh, Ryan Bogue Bo just launches forward into the half forward area. Tehan, who's a real move, of course, places hurling an awfully, but well, it's just got a wee bit messy there. A number of players trying to get their hands. Luca McCusker tried. Well played for Mark. Well, like I just noticed Parik Ray and Tehan come from where, where the American president came to drink some Guinness. Oh, yes. Money, money Gold County Offley. Well, Barack Obama. It looks like Kieran Duffy's won his duel. Paddy Dazio's coming off. Coming on. Joe McManus. Certainly not an injury, but no, it's not. Doesn't people, look like it. No. It seems to be a common thing now in in football and hurling. You know, if you're not going well, would you ever give a man the half time at least? Uh, 
Uh, well, he's a, he's, a, he's a regular starter on that. Yeah. New Mayo management team in. Of course, they're still looking for a first victory after that throw last week. The rest coming, the last gasp throw. And yeah. There's a big free sit over the bar. Fantastic. Cormac Fantastic Phillips score, again, that's his, Phillips. that's his fourth score. Very, very accurate. Very accurate, miss. Just that stunning goal separates the team. Seven points to one seven. Here comes Framan again. Need for the stick work there this time. Play Dylan Bannon. Sean Corrigan. Corrigan. Wearing 24, of course, in his favourite number 11 position. Here comes Framan just trying to get a bit of space. And I think we earned. Oh, yeah, we got a free. Yeah. I Good thought we'd earned a free there before the ball went in. Tommy done well there. He done very well. He's doing very well. He's doing very well up that far lane. So Mayo man being spoken tonight. Yes, as we as we see Joe McManus, we were saying of St Jude's straight into the full forward lane for Mayo. And Mayo's number six was spoken, to, but I didn't see him getting the card of any kind. Lucas, going, Lucas McCusker going to take a free from the far side of the field from Muston. He put the last one over from there. And just, I was looking at the fantastic surroundings too here at the beautiful walkway and all. It's a fine, fine stadium they've got all of a sudden. A fine stadium, there's work going on again, and there's always a bunch of people in there need to walk. Yeah. So, but in high That's a fine score That's from Luca McCusker from the game from, from the dug, uh, from on the dug outside. McCusker, McCusker very suddenly has become a, a big, big part player for this from on the team. He has, yeah, and he's a great fella. He's playing very well. Rainbow keeping eight tabs here, but that's better for Mayo this time. And centre half back, back, Danny Hill, who was just spoken to by the referee. And oh, yeah, and he's stuck it over the bar. What a response that's from a, Danny Hill. That's a great score from Danny Hill running right through from the centre half back position to stick the ball over the bar. For Man at eight points, Mayo won eight. And it's Man at goalkeeper Mark Curry. Right in, forward, right in front of us here. That's just missed. Just over the sideline. Right down the side. Here is that man. The referee's been quite Cormac particular Phillips. where these frees and things yeah. have been taken from. He's just moved that ball about two yards so. on the sideline. Phillips just right in front of us here. Lobs it in. Oh, just misses, but looks like Dylan Bannon's going to be there first. Dylan Bannon. Looks like it's going to be Hill again for Mayo. That's better play this time for Ben Corrigan. Come on, Ben Corrigan. Not making things easy. Mayo. Another free is just it's a wee bit longer for Luca this time, but oh, taken quickly by Ryan Bogue. And for right forward here, we're heading it, we're heading in the right direction now. Wow! Hit the post and stood over the bar. Great hit. Fine score, fine score. Just what Fermana wanted to finish the first half strongly, and Brian Tehan. He's been impressive so far too. For Brian Tehan's just played very well. That he was very unlucky there not for a goal. the ball out again this time, but it's the man of midfielder, Thomas Cleary, PJ just looking for a bit of space, and Keelan Duffy, Good ball. Luca, Luca McCusker winds up, he gets hooked, but he was winding that up, heading looking for the black spot, he's been held back here yes, this time, better than this from Fermana, wanting to finish the half, strongly, but throughout the front is McBrain, McBrain. McBrain. a great he's ball forward, He's down, Tormey. He's back up again, Tormey. He's just looking for a bit of space. Finds Corrigan. Corrigan driving in. Goal chance for Fermanagh. Brian Tinkin. Oh. Fine stop. Fine stop by Barry Lane. Fermanagh keep pushing. Can they at least get a point out of Back to Luca has it. Luca McCusker. Has he just lost it, Luca? Ben Corrigan still there in support. It's coming the wrong way, the ball, this time. Well, so close, but nothing for Fermanagh, and it's a free item. So close to a goal chance, and we've just got nothing. Uh, Fermanagh had two great goal chances in the last minute and a half there. One of them rattled off the post and went over the bar. And that one had a couple of goals at it. Ben Corrigan actually took a kick at that ball at one time. Yeah, just so close, but Fermanagh would love to finish off this half with a couple of points. And, well. That's a great head in by Fonte. Oh yes! What yes! What, what a catch a in the square! What nothing. a great ball! Jimmy Tormey. And well, 
Francis McBrain. Francis McBrain. Well there. And all of a sudden, Fermanagh now lead. 1 9 to 1 8. That's a great ball. Great bit of hurling. Great bit of fielding. Jimmy Tormey. Take a bow. Fermanagh lead. 1 9 to 1 8. Hook out by Barry Lane. Well, Mayo started impressively. 5 points to 1. They got that goal. They were pushing ahead. But all of a sudden, Fermanagh have awoken. And now lead by a point. And all of a sudden, you probably wouldn't want the half time whistle to come. No, we don't really want it at the minute. But, uh, First real touch now for Joe McManus, of course, come in. McManus this time tracked by Roy Portis. McManus trying to find a bit of space. He finds that space. Coming oh, off. you can't defend against that. Adrian That's Phillips. That's a quick of a goal from Adrian Phillips. Quick the ball up off the ground and straight in. He just hit it on the, in the air. That was a bit of class. That was class, uh, Horner. You can't compete against that. That's the second goal. And it must but be said, Joe McManus done brilliantly too out in the corner. Joe McManus done well and got the ball straight across. The man was done there. Man come again through Thomas Cleary, midfielder. Cleary looking to get away from his fellow man. And well, Thomas Cleary's hard work. Cleary done well there. That was a bit of a killer blow now. It certainly was. And you could just see the mood too. And well, Francis McBrain or Ryan Bogue are both sizing this up. It's going to be Francie McBrain. Let this one in. Francie has the capability of putting this over the bar here. He right has a distance. McBrain. What a hit. What a hit. That's a great response, Francie. From, from, the, from the, six, the wrong side of the field, from the 65, the wrong 65. 110, 2 8. <laughs> it's a very exciting game this now in the first half. Everything's breaking up very much. Yeah. From one of his young youth and speed. It's a big help. Some fine scores as well. Some fine scores. That's Francie McBrain's second fine score. Yeah. Luca McCusker's had a couple of great scores, but What's it's that? very hard to defend them goals coming from the other. Three come on as well for John Paul McGarry as we come up towards 33 minutes played here. It's Joseph's Park, Edderney. Mayo's come on, going off. We might be a blood sub here. Yeah, as we see. Keelan Geller of Westport getting ready to come on. Yeah, Everybody's well. very careful putting them on now in case somebody ends up with too many people on the field here. Yeah. All rules are being looked at. At the score that That's the man goal. that scored the two goals. Quietly, I'm sure Fawn will be happy enough to see that. We are. So, it's a puck out by Borry Lane. All free round the middle. Neil's there first, and it's that man again, Cormac Phillips. Cormac oh, Phillips right again. Right right. Right. Of course, two teams that wouldn't have seen much in hurling against each other. Of course, the footballers plenty of time. Football so plenty of time, yep. We'd always remember Pete McGrath's era down in Castle Bar from Anime on that qualifier. He had Luce. Yep. As Mana come forward again. That's right a great ball in again. This time it finds Sean Corrigan. Corrigan goes for it. Good boy Corrigan, man. Good score Fine again. Score. For it just one moment I thought maybe the goal was going to come. It was looking well. It, the ball hadn't gone down much more before it was under the bar. It shows how close this okay. league is with um, Monaghan defeating Armagh yesterday. And of course, Fermanagh really, really did put it up to Monaghan last week. But Monaghan, two wins on the, on the trot so far. Man was very unlucky against Monaghan, but uh, the game yesterday was a very busy game as too. It seems like it's a going to be a very, very close league, and maybe home advantage too will be a massive thing. Probably will, yeah. You have the back to Cormac Phillips at the freeze here once again from the middle of the field. We're in the number nine. And this time, the umpire is lifting the flag now. Got it, Cormac Phillips. He's massively, massively accurate. Oh, from that's them. very good. That's his. Massively accurate. Man of 111, Mayo 29s. We're about to see the board for two minutes. Five score from. Of additional time. Mayo can bring this back for free, but they've decided to play on. Went for it. That's a fine score once again by Joe Mooney. Joe Mooney. His third point. That's Joe's third point. Man of 111. Mayo 210. Just waiting now for 
Mark Curry. Mark Curry has poked the ball out. An awful lot of time for Fermanagh Curry. Features for the Lisbeth Club. And does quite a bit of refereeing too. He's a good, yes, there's a lot of refereeing. He's plenty, seems to have plenty of time in his hands. He's always about. Joe McMahon, of course, who only come on. And Joe McMahon has to come on for. Well, there, that's a couple of big scores from Mayo. That's a couple of big half. important scores, yeah. Really, is well, that will really come back maybe to haunt for Mana? These couple of scores. 111 to 211, it's been a high scoring first half. Mayo has the ability to cancel out, cancel out for Mana. Good pits, cancel them out very fast. Which we have seen. Great. Good puck out this time. And here's Rainbow, the ever efficient experience. Rainbow lets it in early. And Fermanagh get a score at least before the break. Good work with Jimmy Tormey, of course, got the Fermanagh goal. Tormey. Just headed away, right of the post and wait. Fermanagh 111. Good deal, though. Mayo 211. As Fermanagh's coming again. There that for Mayo, and it's, it's through midfielder Daniel Huon, of course, the captain. And it's coming from the Terrain Club here. In ah, well, back for Mana. Superb work. Superb work. Superb work by Francie McBrain there. Superb work by Francie McBrain. Good, good half from both teams and very enjoyable. It certainly has been a. Terry Bill, well back, well back to defend that ball. Some fantastic scores for Mana 111, Mayo 211. As we just give you a later score from the other game, and it's Russ Common, 6 points, Louth 2 9. So. That's an impressive scoreline for Louth. That's yes, an impressive scoreline for yeah. Louth, is right. Um, as we watch the Mayo players going first tier, 111 to 211. Mm. Joe Baldwin would be quite happy, but at the same time, we're, we are a goal behind. We're going, we're not going behind, but it's very mm. hard to defend the two, the both goals, or I'd say excellent goals. Mm. Excellent. So, leave it here at half time, as I said, here from the Spence and Joseph's Park here in Edelney. Fermanagh 111, Mayo 211. We'll chat you at the start of the second half. Okay, okay. From the kids enjoying their first taste of action at a blitz to our senior sides competing at the highest level and everyone in between, it is our aim to give them every chance to simply be the best they can be. To do that, we have to ensure that our players at all ages and in all grades have the tools and the facilities to help them achieve that goal and fulfil their potential. To that end, we have ambitious plans in place to upgrade and improve the centre at Listen, bringing it up to the standard that meets the modern needs and requirements of all our county teams. And for our vision to become a reality, it costs money. In that regard, we are launching this big fundraiser in connection with our fellow hard-working Kilbernia committee members in America. We will be holding a competition to win a house in Fermanagh and have secured a wonderful property in Enniskillen, ideally situated for all the beauty and wonderful tourism spots that Fermanagh has to offer and also perfect for many of the attractions within our island, including the Wild Atlantic Way. Attractions such as the Marble Arched Caves, the wonderful Loch Erin, Crumb Castle and Balik Pottery will all be on your doorstep if you win this fantastic prize. The house, a new four bedroom, detached house in an exciting new development on the outskirts of our county town in Eskillen is a superb prize, whether you're a local or if you're looking for a home to enjoy a holiday. Thank you for your support as we step forward with this venture to improve the facilities that will give every young person in Fermanagh the opportunity to be the best they can be.
Hello and welcome back to Joseph's Park here in Edirne for this NHL Division 3A clash between Fermanagh and Mayo Park McGurn here. Of course, join me through the first half and again the second half is ex Fermanagh great Peter Bogue. Peter, Fermanagh 111, Mayo 211. Fermanagh's got a bit of a something to do here in the second half, I suppose. Fermanagh has some, a lot to do, but in fairness, they've just uh, Mayo's only scored once more than us and uh, they seem to be have a lot more ball and do scoring easier, you know. Yeah, no changes at half time, but that's probably the most prolific thing to say, probably from that game, is uh, Adrian Phillips, a wing half forward, come off. And the Fermanagh players would have been happy enough to see yeah, the that. Fermanagh players, yeah, he seemed to, got, he seemed to be hurt. <laughs> also, throw in here now in the middle. Manor just making that one sub in the first half. John Paul McGarry coming off for Francie McBride. Good start this. Manor's Ball in towards Sean in. Corrigan. Yeah. Thomas Cleary don't whether to get it in, but again, Mayo come out. And, well, it wasn't the cleanest hit, but it's just a rough honour for Mark Phillips. That's better play by Brian T. Hill uh, and Dana McHugh. I thought that was a harsh free yeah. there. Now, Luca McCusker gave them on us. What I could see was a clean shoulder. No. Three against Park. It's great to see so many. I think we had four different clubs. I see that St. Patrick's Dona. All children out playing hurling at half time in a hurling match. It's brilliant to see so many from other yeah. children out playing hurling. Derry Lynn, Lisbelaw, Edony, of course, on their own home ground. Hurling really is growing. And here's Francis McBride. That's a first class Take ball from Francis McBride to Sean Corrigan. Yards as well. And Sean is traditional score. You can't teach that. You can't take that. Sean Corrigan, point. Sean Corrigan has a great ability. He throws the ball up very high for her to hit it. How many times have we said Sean Corrigan, point or goal? Sean Corrigan, yeah, very good. Very good. So, there's Jim Vane just right in front of us. Mark well, Phillips. Well, well defended again uh, there by Jimmy Timory. Jimmy Tormey's done well. Of course, took his goal brilliantly. And it's the money goal man, Brian, to him. Ian the referee just letting the other players know, move back. And Tormey getting ready. Horse places hurling down. County Offaly as we touched on. A number of players here from not playing in Fermanagh, but well, he won't be happy with that one. No, and didn't uh, raise it in the air. James Murphy welcomes that, no problem. And pushes it forward for Mayo. Fermanagh slowly going into this game, but Mayo just have that bit of class. To just rob a goal out of nowhere. Rory Porch is defending very well yeah. again. And I think it's a harsh enough free as well. The man slipped again, but yeah. the free's a free once the whistle goes. Of course, Joe McMahon has come on, and McMahon has been impressive since he came on. McMahon has been very impressive, yeah. Certainly a scoreable chance now for Michael Ford. Probably haven't seen that much of Michael Ford. Ford. Bully Hannes Mon too. No, once again, you have Cormac Phillips coming up, running right up from the middle of the field. Take it. Or McPhillips seems to be the sharp shooter. He has won five points scored. Of course, in the same division yesterday, our man losing out at home by a single score to Monaghan. So, Monaghan, they've had two wins, one point either game. And they're sitting top of the league at the moment. And again, again Conor McPhillips. McPhillips. Straight over the middle again. He's a great score taker. That. The man of 1-12, Mayo 2-12. Phillips cancels out Sean Corrigan's early second half score. Puck out by Mark Curry. Looking for the danger man, Luke McCusker. Luke well, Luke what a Luke catch Luke. by Luca McCusker. And he's on his bike and he's going. There's three foot Mayo players after him. Play the midfielder. Oh, that's Duffy. A is it fine hurling from Fermanagh? Have we a finish? Ah, oh, that's Dana a great McHugh. bit of hurling. Superb good bit of throw from Dana McHugh. Of course, McHugh playing his first ever game for Fermanagh hurlers on home soil here. Did feature last week against Monaghan and Clonus and also played in the Conor McGurr Cup pre-season competition for University of Ulster at Jordanstown. But a welcome boost to Joe Baldwin's team, the St John's Belfast man. I have been blowing for a run to, uh, just as Parik talks about Don and McHugh. Don and McHugh is originally from a co-person. His aunties played a lot of camogie in the Enniskillen and Tempo area. Years ago in the late 80s. 
I'm sure your son Ryan Bogue might even might come up against him too up in Antrim. Ryan Bogue will come up against him in Antrim, yeah. We're seeing a lot more Mayo subs out warming up on Fermanagh, two and three at a time. Looked in high. The number of bodies for it, and well, man, in the hard work of it, but it's well pucked out by Kieran Duffy along the ground to Brian Tain. Tain's been impressive so far, especially in the first half. Brilliant stick work by Very Brian Tain. Right in front of the stand here. Tain loves it. That would be so score. That would score. What a score. That's a good score. From, up, from a Mayo attack. To a Fermanagh point. Yeah. Mayo scored two brilliant goals, but I would be putting that down to score the match so far here to me anyway. That is sublime, Hurling, by Brian Tehan. Hooked out by Barry Lee. Fermanagh support all of a sudden getting a little a bit louder. And this will help us. Fermanagh go on the attack again. France McRae looks it into the corner, but it's just going to fall behind Dana McHugh. Oh, and yes, we've clipped the ball again. Play. Ben Corrigan. He's already hit a couple in the first half. Just didn't get it away this time, but Sean Corrigan, the right man on the ball. Corrigan loves oh, the Ah, hard luck, hard luck. He yeah, played the ball across, but just my old man cut it out like a sweeper. Cut it out. The Brilliant defend by Rory Portis, but he's just harshly judging the second ball. And Ryan Bogue stops all Mayo attack there, but Mayo come again. And this time it's Joe Hardy. What's the referee going to give? He's letting it play on. Might help from out his favour here. Did he get that? Looks Come like in. a throw in. Yeah. Romana 114, Mayo 212. Romana, of course. The That's a good stop by Rain Bogue there of a fast attack from Mayo. It was Portis the well and then Bogue again. They certainly stopped another Mayo attack as we see the referee, of course, the goal in man, Roscommon man throwing the ball in. But won by midfielder and captain Daniel Huon. He just lobs it in, but. Mm -hmm. Well, is it there? We lost the game. Mayo's looking for that bit of space, and we know. Oh, he's run out. Of, ah, he run out. Of, he run out. Uh, free in the Mayo. Yeah, whistle's gone. It's a free in. Mayo he just have that wee bit of class at times about them. Mayo had the class. He was bearing down goals. Would be happy enough for the free in to get back to plenty back to defend. So, Man of one fourteen. Mayo two twelve. You see, Mayo getting ready. To pick Once this again. Up. Midfielder. Cormac Phillips is stepping up. Just on the very edge of the D. Man have certainly weathered any Mayo storm throughout this game, but at the same time, have we seen the two Mayo goals, they really can just come out of absolutely anywhere. Bringing this line from a GAT today. One point in this game. Cormac Phillips. And now too. Cormac Phillips is a great score taker. He doesn't right, miss yeah. many frees. Really is, of course, plays for the Valley Honest Club. Get ready for Mark Curry. Curry's been used to pucking these out today. He's been kept busy. It's a searching ball. That's brilliant stick well work by Keelan Duffy. He's two, three Mayo players facing him. Duffy feeds it out. It's tight. Dylan Ballon tries to get it away. Sean down. Corrigan's walking hard for it now. Certainly is. Better from Fermanagh, but just unable to get it away. Of course, special shout out again to Daniel Teague. Huge, huge miss from Fermanagh hurlers today. And yeah, Fermanagh earned a free. Hard walk, good yeah, walk. Done very well there. Right in front of the whole Fermanagh dugout. As we also look at this Erny pitch, I see there's a couple of diggers up high. Seeking for 70. Seeking for 70 people, it would be a perfect stand. Perfect stand. Surroundings. And a bit of a play park as well, I see. So. Luca McCusker going over there. I thought this maybe, maybe was Francis free because Francis took the last one over in the first half uh, from the same place. Luca feels good for it anyway. Man, I just need to stay on the coattails of Mayo. They haven't led. Oh, he had a purple patch. Luca McCusker. He's been deadly accurate this season in the Conor McGurk Cup for Jimmy Tormey and Dorn. McHugh just watching just in case it comes off the post or anything. No pay, it's falling. Oh, yes. It's in the net. Great, great. Well. Jimmy, Jimmy Tormey just touched it into the net. Fermanagh, 2-14. Mayo, 2-13. 
Any anything that a Mayo man can do to score two tools, Jimmy can score two well. Out of nothing, for man, and all of a sudden, midfielder Keelan Duffy is trying to find a bit of space. And well defended hooked. by Mayo. But back. Thomas, Thomas Cleary. Cleary hits a long he ball. He goes for it. That it's looks pretty good. That's a brilliant Cleary. score. A brilliant score from Thomas Cleary. Well, all of a sudden, one one for Mana. 215 to 213, Thomas Cleary. That was a fine strike. That was Cleary. a fine strike. There's a couple of fine minutes of hurling from the from on a behalf. And all of a sudden now the Fermanagh support have just really awoken. Can they test Mayo here? Can they win this next ball? It's hard there to get the ball at all out Thomas there. Thomas Cleary's done very well. Oh, Cleary have to get in that point well. There seem to be four Mayo players around Cleary. And ah. Looks like I thought Thomas had earned a free there now instead of that he's it's a freeze against him. This bright bright yellow slither. The referee has his book out. Cleary was unlucky there. Cleary was very unlucky, didn't get a free and then he, he, he unfortunately got a yellow card. Maybe he was a bit frustrated when he went into the next tackle. Yeah, to the dismay of this crowd here in St Joseph's Park in Edirne. Got a yellow card. Once a yellow card appears you start looking at the subs to say where do we go or what. And after that fine score, the last thing Joe Boland's going to want to do is take off Thomas Cleary. I don't Cleary. want to take it off anybody that's working hard. Yeah. So right in front of us is the usual Cormac Phillips. Bang on the middle of the field, Phillips. He lets it go. It's going to drop short. Well, Joe Mooney had the that's chance, it. just didn't take it. It's a bit, it's a bit like the rugby yesterday. It's all. It's tight. It's tight. He's gone for the over, but. He's out the way. Michael Ford knocks it wide. That was a good bit of defending him from on his behalf again. Really was. And it just shows a wee bit that, that Cormac Phillips is he is normal, he's off the missing one. Yeah. So the man at two fifteen. Mayo two thirteen. Two valuable points on stake here in this division three A league clash in St Joseph's Park Edirne. The man of the next home game as well against Russ Common. Another tight, tight struggle again. A very good Connacht side by the looks of it early on. And here comes Mayo, centre half back. But he's robbed by yeah, Dylan Bannon. Good man, Dylan Bannon. We have yeah. it. I thought Danny Hill was just That's getting away, but Bannon's stuck to his task well. A couple of leads from other players that have come in. Not named as per programme, has done very well. The likes of Ben Corrigan struck two almighty points. And here's just another one, Sean Corrigan. Again. Not like him not to be wearing number 11. Corrigan goes for it. That would the be an traditional throw up. That's another good score. 216 to 213 for Man lead, and all of a sudden there's a slight sea change about here since half time. And Corrigan knocks over his fifth point from play there. And Corrigan he has the ball again. again. What about a stick work, stick work again? Boiling just a little bit low. The traditional there. throw up. Looks to be dropping. It's a mistake oh. by Ian. Oh. Anybody that's watching this can see how how can that happen, I'm not sure. The goalie stopped it, it fell on his feet, and the Fermanagh man right from the middle of the goal to put it wide. Well, after giving the puck out straight to Sean Corrigan, Boylane was nearly left with the egg in his yeah. face. Sean Corrigan was very lucky he didn't go, it just wasn't another foot taller and it would have been over. The physio was right with Sean Corrigan now. Yeah, it's hard hitting out there, Peter. It's hard work. There's, Mayo, there's a Mayo man down with, uh, getting attention, and there's a Fermanagh man down. Of course, both these teams will be free next weekend. It's just the GA football, National Football League's next week, so a week's rest, but certainly Fermanagh will be hoping to go into that week's rest with at least two points, well, point or maybe two points on the board, hopefully. Hopefully so. Uh, Fuck out by Boyle and right in front of us, Francis McBrain. A good thing in at the elbow on Joe McManus. I would say, for it, when you're talking about a weekend's rest, Joe Baldwin doesn't do rest. The team was quite liable to be anywhere playing or doing whatever they do. Yeah. And that's what it takes to play hurling at this level. Here's Cormac Phillips, if you see Mayo getting ready to bring on Alan Gavin at Castle Bar. But for now, Mayo midfielder Cormac Phillips letting it up high. It's a great strike. He's a fine, fine Great strike right from the very ball. centre of the field. The man at 2.16, Mayo 2.14 as we see. That sub coming on now. And it's Alan Gavin for John Hardy. Cormac Phillips knocked over his eighth point in the game. Phillips has been impressive. But so too is a number of these Fermanagh players. We see a number of more Mayo subs being run off here. 
It's actually Mark Phillips now. Come on, let's jump. Roland McGurn coming off for Gahar McManus. Gahar McManus of Venice getting Gales. Yeah, that's another club we're another glad club. to see out playing Hurl. Yeah. And here we have Mark Curry with the puck out. It's falling nicely to France McBride. And ah. Yeah. McBride doesn't like that. The Manus Borders doesn't like that. <coughs> right in front of the stand. Worst Manus. Thomas side Cruz lane cutting again. Close by and, yeah. Cormac Phillips back over to take the side lane cut exactly where he took the free less than a minute ago. And they find that bit of space and says that he finds the ground. And Brian Tahan running again at his usual best. Tahan has taken three, four, five, six um. male players round to stop him. Thomas Clear looking to find that bit of space. Good defend by Cormac Phillips. He's going to be close to the side, side lane. Ball for four. And Francis McBrain. There. It's been a fantastic game. High it's been scores, a fantastic game. Yes, yeah, very great game to watch. And if it's but anybody watching it on the television, should be getting a great game. a great cut in through the middle. It's just fell in nicely. Oh. Well. Was he leaning on him? He looked as if he was leaning on him to me. There, it looked as if it was. He'll maybe get away at that one. Ryan Bow just right in front of the Fermanagh dugout right here. Just looking for that bit of space. And that's oh, a great, a ball, ball, a great ball, ball to Keenan Duffy. Keenan Duffy. Duffy. Can he find that bit of space? And he is a good ball. The man of two on one here. If they get it away. Very, very well defended from Mayo cornerback James Lyons. That looks like a push in the back. Well, Surely it looked like a push in the back yeah. from me here. That's two the referee if he has failed to give. The man is doing very, very well here, actually. There will be two points up. As yeah. a, I think this is from on his first 65 of the game. Yeah, and it's looking like it's going to Luke, be Luke McCusker. Luke McCusker. 216, 214. A Mayo player down too, just getting a bit of treatment into that cornerback, James Lyons, who pretty much stopped that from on a goal chance. That's happened. right. He's had a good game. The referee's going over to see him. He may have some concerns just to see how he is. And no, no, he's okay. The referee's gone again. This certainly could be Luca McCusker's range. This is definitely in Luca's range, anyway. Luca McCusker trying to nudge Joe Baldwin's from on a side. Three points ahead here. In the second half, it's a Joseph Park it? Luca lanes out number 14. His dad, father always lined out number three, right in front of his brother. McCusker. What a great hit. A what a great hit. Bench. What a great hit, Luca McCusker. Straight over the right. bar. Sort of feeling anything Cormac Phillips can do. Luca McCusker That's can right. do as well. And 217 to 214. 217. Every puck out's important. Be a huge two points of mana if they were able to sustain this. And that's good play from Thomas Cleary. Thomas Cleary, Cleary who's had a very well good done. game. Well done. Both from on the midfielders have been excellent. Both from on the midfielders played very well and it's back where it were. They were probably slow to get going though. Slow to start off. We're in the Luca range again. From on at three points up. Luca doesn't run to take this free. He just walks up as if to say, yeah. there's no hurry on me. Certainly isn't at the stage of the second half. Lanesman keeps a good eye to make sure it's from the right place. We do have a slight wind advantage here too for the second half. That Oh, he hits well, it short. It short this time. Has he found the space? He has found the space. Jimmy Tormey. Jimmy Tormey is right. And trying he's to, trying to turn his man, trying to find that wee bit of extra. But to ask, well defended again by Mayo Well defended, yeah. And well, oh. Lions. Well. Lions I'm not sure what way. I think that's war. a free out. Is it from Anamon being penalised for chopping down on the ball? A free out. And the goalie's out to take it. Yeah, boy, Liam. The goalie's out now. We need to be watching the half-back lane. 2.17, There's our sweeper man and all them things. That's, that's about to land in zone just. Boy, Liam. That's where it heads. And away it goes. Challenge the ball. That's brilliantly took in by Joe Mooney. Mooney just look at the feed it off. And, oh, and that's another handy free. Well, another free anyway. It's certainly in scoreable range. Of course, for this man, Cormac Phillips, who's coming over. 
I'm not sure what that's free about. It's maybe a tip on the helmet from the, the referee did point to the helmet all right. So Mayo trying to reduce the deficit two points. Great catch by Joe Mooney anyway from the from the goalies free. As we as we just enter the fiftieth minute here. Conor Phillips lines up again here. Yeah, and the way he's putting them over, you'd have to say. Well, oh, and put it away. And he put it well away for Conor Phillips. 217, 214. <laughs> he maybe rushed it slightly, I'm not sure what He, he rushed it slightly, I will. Well, like uh, Curry pucks out again. He has pucked out with 214, 14 to 16. He's pucked the ball out about 24, 25 times in this one match. At least. Himself and Broly has been kept busy. As Mayo centre back, Danny Hill comes oh, forward. That's a great catch by Luca McCusker, really shining into this game here. And here comes Manny again. And it's true, that money goal man, Brian Cahan. Cahan goes for the Brian score. If he can know us, why does Just think. went wide. We're doing very well. Mayo begin to panic now. The ball's coming out far quicker. quicker. Everything's happening Brian faster Lee. now. The game's speeding up. He's out to Alan Gavin. Right in front uh, of the Mayo ball, ball right in front of the dugout. Mayo okay. sideline cut. 270, 214. We have the, the guts of well over 20 minutes still to play here. Yeah. Plus additional. So a lot can still happen in this game. That's well picked up by Francie McBride. McBride, McBride lets it in early. The man on the tag lead by three points here. Tormy just slipped Hard. at the wrong time and brings it out now through Mark Phillips. He got his first touch and then he just slipped on. You see the wee, bit of, the, the wee bit of coolness. Jason oh, Roy. this. Well, the man of support don't like it. Man of support don't like it right in front of the stand. Thomas Clare, he's already on the yellow card, and that'll certainly worry Joe Baldwin. But he's only going to get talking to him. In fairness to this common referee, he explains everything terribly well to the player. He doesn't carry on as if to say he should know what's happening. He's doing a good job. Having a good day out. Mary shakes the head, but the old midfielder again, Cormac Phillips. Cormac. Seems like we've seen this number of times today. Yeah, Cormac he's Phillips. He just, he's just, he's sorry, just overcorrected. He put yeah. the last one wide on the left and he overcorrected and now they're slightly wide on the right. Two in a row. Where Phillips is in the wides count. 217, 214. Here we see again Mark Curry getting ready. Put the ball out for Fermanagh. Mm -hmm. Curry. In the way out. Bang into the middle. Thomas Cleary direction, but ah, oh, superbly taken by Daniel Hewitt. It's tight on the sideline. That's brilliant. A great block by Thomas Cleary there. Yeah. Francis McBride done very well since you come on for John Paul McGurry. Better work this. That was a late one. Oh, there's a very late tackle. Very late tackle. Uh, seems to be the substitute, Alan Gavin. Came in very, very late. And I must say, Ryan Bogue was about to branch Ryan forward Bogue there was just no man. In launching zone. Go for man a little bit. The yellow yard, but I suppose more importantly, it stops Ryan Bogue attacking. I don't know, could the referee have went back to that? The referee could have went back. I think that's what Ryan Bogue's trying to explain to him in a nice way out there now. But uh, that's not what happens. The game goes on, and then you go back and deal with it. There's always loads of people to give the referee plenty of advice. Certainly is, as we see, Francis McBride really certainly has the distance. Francis in the launching zone here for himself, anyway. Just behind the halfway line, Francis McBride course, hurls for Liz below. Trying the nudge from Anna four points ahead, McBride. Oh, just very just slightly wide. wide. Uh, I think you can usually uh, tell with the goalkeeper. Most, most, both teams are having a wee bit of problems here getting the ball in line. There they are. Post at the minute, but. Mark Phillips goes past Ben Corrigan and Mayo coming in through centre half back Danny Hill. Hill lobs it in, but well, Corey's happy enough to let that run out wide. Corey's happy enough to let it run. And that just, well. And one thing about Mark Curry, he doesn't get tired pucking it out. I don't think we're in the stage yet that would be running down the clock, but at the moment, that's what seems to be Mark Curry's doing. Mark, yeah, he's in no big hurry anyway. Curry, 
Yeah, it's right to uh, Luca McCusker. Well, Luca McCusker, the man come out over his shoulder as he's giving him a free in. Great take by Luca McCusker. Uh, again, it's in the launching zone. The ass uh, well back as well into the zone half of the field now. You see a Fermanagh sub getting ready to come on, Ollie McShay. Making Ollie. the hard to know who that is over there. Ollie McShay would be able to give you a great advice coming on to play in any team we went on and played. Railway Cup, hurling Railway yeah. Cup. Every hit son, a son was great hur is a good hurler and he now plays for the football team. So Luca McCusker again from his own half. Drives it in. It's gonna fall short, but who's it gonna fall to? Oh that's a great bit of work by Sean Corrigan. Corrigan. Brian Tehan trying to get a wee bit of space to get a shot away. Tehan completely puts it out. What a ball by Brian Tehan. Is there a no. finished product from Fermanagh? There's not. No, Sean Corrigan. Corrigan was just watching where he was going to put it before he yeah. got a hold of it. Sit out to Cleary's Thomas Clary and he has let it slip. Clary, can he find a bit of space to give it away? He does. To ben Corrigan. Corrigan. Better this from Fermanagh. Better from Francis McRae. And he's getting he pulled a wee bit now, but he's getting away. Look at McCusker eventually. McCusker goes for it. He's dropping again. It's going to be a tester for Barry Lane. Lane does very well. No, this the goalie done very well there. He catches that ball. Good. Getting his eye and put it out. He's headed straight out to Sean Corrigan. Corrigan Sean does a traditional throw up in the air and puts That's it wide. slightly wide. As you say, both teams yeah. are having a bit of problem out here. As, well, see if Fabana Sobin is that Yannick Yard. Almost there going off. And coming on is Oren Johnston. Oren Johnston coming on. Uh, Aaron Gale's club. Johnson was a fine man on the 21 footballer, on the 20 footballer last year too. Plays for the Aaron Gale's course, featured in the Fermanagh County Football Final last year in Gale's and Gale's in But like a lot of these players, he's a fine dual player. Luca McCusker. Runs it low. Midfielder, Keelan Duffy, but oh, great defending. Good stuff. From Conor Murray, but <coughs> the man of ball. And <laughs> Oren Johnson has been impressive this past year, and especially in the last couple of games. Oren Johnson, uh, I see Rainbow going to take the sideline cut here, but again, there's no big rush up to take it. Yeah. As we see Thomas Cleary leaving the field. And Cleary, he had a good game today, he did pick up that yellow card. Thomas probably. played very well, he's a hard walker, and it's not simple for Thomas. He, 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 he walks and lives across the water and he has to fly home. Man, let it go in. And, well, Sean Corrigan just Sean loses Corrigan just play. leaves the possession of it now. Conor Murray and Mayo come again, trying to get oh, away. Alfred Manus defending very well here. Yeah, Keelan Gallop pushed well, off the ball there, pretty handsomely. And here comes Duffy. There's another block up there. Knocked down again. Jason Coy, the wing half back. Oh. Mark Phillips. Phillips, good attack this from Mayo, but well, well back ready. Ben Corrigan. Ben well Corrigan went terribly well back to get that ball. I'd say Fermanagh's doing very well. There was about five boys back hunting back there looking for that. Ryan Bow, right up the line. Better this. Dan and McHugh. McHugh feeds into the middle to France McBride. McBride getting ready to let go. He's lucky the way it falls there. He just the fell for Keenan. Keenan Duffy. Duffy just looking for that wee bit of space. But, well. Lost the ball. That, uh, Mayo's hunting in packs there. Really are. Well, brilliant defending. Aye, brilliant defending again. Rory Portis. Portis coming out. Big, big, strong. Man, Rory Portis. But, well, Dan McHugh. He's done well, Dan McHugh. And he's, he's done well forward. to get the But, ah. Uh, ah. He's going to play that push. But, Luke Connor wins that duel. Again, Dan McHugh. And. Referee's giving him a wee bit of advice as well. I think there was a wee bit of bit of baggage. A wee bit of baggage packing the ball forward. 217, 214 as the sun shines down beautifully on St. Joseph's Park, isn't it? The man leading by three points. A big, big two points big at stake draw. here. This National Hurling League Division 3A clash. Back to Connor Phillips. Three point game. Man, of course. Probably the better team in the second half for Manor. Fermanagh's a better team. The referee is a busy job here at the minute. Everything's going wrong. Everything's going wrong. The referee's very busy. Yeah. Referee's always kept busy. Always Sean Corrigan. Corrigan. Corrigan tries to get past three, four men, but that's good yeah, play. Every Mark good. Phillips. Phillips showing all his strength. Great power through. Uh, power and through here comes Mayo again. 
Um, just a pull down from Joe Mooney and well, it's certainly in the range for midfield. Certainly in the range. Warwick Phillips. Two seventeen, the two fourteen. It's just kind of going a bit stop start. Maybe it's going a bit stop start, yeah. But the, the, I'm sure that from one of the teams happy enough as long as it keeps going like that. They're happy enough. This would be a quite simple free now for Cormac Phillips, right? Phillips Dead centre. Bring it down to a two point game. Ah, uh, yeah. And he just does that. Down to two points. The next goal in this game will be very important for you. Certainly will. Two seventy to two fifteen. Both teams making a number of substitutes and things out there. And more Curry, as you said, Peter, yeah. take his time. More Curry, no hurry. Of course, Mayo under new management. Joe Baldwin in his Ten fourth year as, as the man manager. Cusker loses it well. He loses the stick in the. It. Well. So we're back into the last 10 minutes of this game here right now. Cusker's playing much deeper, but he's playing very, very well. Uh, when he lost a stick there, he kicked the ball, but he went about 60 yards outside the kick. Oh. Look at McCusker lining this up, but now he's going to play it back to Ryan Bogue. This is well inside the... Well inside the... the Ryan Bogue's going a yeah. long time with Manor Hurlers. Ryan Bogue's playing from probably 17. He's probably 17 years done at 17 championships. Ryan Bogue. Right into that area, but well, yeah, we're we're going to have to pick again. them up a wee bit sharper because the uh, man is too long with the ball. Yeah, all of a sudden, Mayo have just ruined in this game ever so slightly yeah. in the last couple of minutes. Yeah, I've uh, I was given too long with the ball there, but the freeze the opposite way. Oh, Mayo lob it forward again. Three on three in the back. Oh. Ah, yeah, 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 that's a good. Keelan Duffy's played a very good game for Certainly it. Has. Very good game, yeah. Certainly has. The, they're small, but. Small in stature, Raven sm- Hart. That's Raven Hart, yeah. They're low to the ground, but. Rainbow comes running over. Rainbow takes a very short very one here to Luca McCusker. McCusker lets it in. The he launches it all down. Fmana wow. supporters aren't happy again now with Fmana man down in the corner. The touch of the heels. Some refs get them, some don't. Yeah. But I've been impressed today by James Sean Lyons. Corrigan's tradition well, throw Corrigan. up here and knocks it wide, wide again. Oh, All we could do with the score here. Yeah, if the man just hit the man could do the wee score. Well, Three, we're, four in a row there. We're due a wee purple patch. We're due a purple patch here. Luke Connor, well, I'm going to say he just took his eye off the, off the ball. That's the right, right just took moment. his eye off. Great deliberations going on in front of the from yeah, on the dugout here. There's like Shea Curran getting ready to come on the list of the ski club, man. A lot of people giving a lot of advice. Yeah. 15 for 23. Yeah. Dunn and Yeah, uh, For Shea Curran. Put himself around, Dunn. Dunn and Mikhail played very well, yeah. yeah that's uh, his first ever home game for Fermanagh on home turf. Just into the Fermanagh set up this time, yeah. and as I say, is his young uh, man. The McHills are steeped in history of Corlin and Camogie. So, well. Oh, that's a good catch now from a male. We Jackson need to defend forward. this. Rainbow seems to this in his sights. Roy Portis does very well there. Can he get down and get the slither? Got a bit messy in there. There's one to We can see the ball, but no, it's the Mayo man picks it up. That's the man that picked the last one up to right. coming forward. Yellow the center the half back. Now and oh, yeah, we're back defending. We're defending in, p- in piles there. That's very well. Superb work by Tehan. Sean Corrigan and Duffy's there with it's Keelan Duffy. Keelan Duffy, oh, yeah. Ah, that's a great ball to Sean Here's Corrigan. Sean Corrigan and it just, it just flicked a wee bit off Sean Corrigan's stick. Mayo have it now again in it. Bang into the middle. Up for man enough bodies, they certainly do. Is that a pullback on Ryan Boog? Referee says no. Again, both times of time to get the ball up. That's a hard bit of work. Hard bit of work. Good to walk from certainly Ryan Boog when it comes to hard walk. The man at 217, Mayo 215 is the time. Creeps towards 70 minutes with. Six minutes remaining here. It's in Joseph's Park, Edwin. Man, of course. Yeah, the Fermanagh man has this ball. I can't get out. 
Look at McCusker as the man I had in his hand, but Mayo has it now anyway. Yeah, the referee's let <laughs> play on, and in comes Jason Coy. Coy drives it forward into full forward. Michael Ford of Ballyhonest. Ford has got Rory oh, Portis. I would have thought Rory Portis came over there and hit him That's fair on the shoulder. Yeah. It knocked him. Referee disagrees, and well, Portis is going to get a speak into. And is this a scoreable chance? For Cormac Phillips. Cormac Phillips heading up again. I thought that was a good shoulder there now. It, it, it was a very important shoulder anyway because he was needed to be. Portis is a strong, strong man. Stall the steamer, as I say. No. It's midfielder Cormac Phillips. Cormac Phillips again. This is tight now. It's just outside the 20 metre line, over very close to the sideline. Trying to bring it back to a one point game as we enter. It's very hard for me to see, but the, the yeah, umpire's away for the flag. As you hear, there's going to be three additional minutes. I must say, that's put up pretty early. That's right, and Cormac Phillips has registered 10 points there. Romana 270, Mayo 260. Both these teams still looking for an opening <coughs> victory. Ah, oh, brilliantly taken the game by midfielder again. Cormac Phillips. Can Mayo get an equaliser out of this game? Yes. Pumped in forward. Ah, oh, brilliant play. Look at McCusker back defending inside the on the 20 metre line. Yeah. Very good. He's wearing 14, but he's been everywhere today. And here's another man that's been hugely impressed. He's today. been everywhere as well. Keenan Duffy. And Sean Corrigan will be a big, big attraction to this. Here he, comes, he has Sean the ball Corrigan. on the stick. On the stick, 24. He has Brian Tehan on his shoulder. Tehan, this is Brian Tehan trying to move a bit of space. Yeah, it's a good play. play. <laughs> and Manor really needed that score. The Manor needed that score terribly well, and uh, it came from a very good bit of speed walk by Luca McCusker back in his own, defending on his own 20 metre line. 218 to 216 as Mayo come forward again. This time it's through Joe McManus. He come on as a first Joe half. Has a good take and a good run by Joe McManus. Now he goes wide. It's going to be a mighty close finish it's here. It's nervous times again, yeah. Nervous times for both teams. That Rory Portis drives it forward, just what the Fermanagh supporters cry out for. Corrigan just misses, but uh, Danny Hill went down. Danny Hill wins a free. Tony Hill wins a free is right there. And it's going to be Cormac Phillips again. He seems to be on every dead ball for Mayo. Cormac Phillips, uh, yeah, well, this one's a bit far out now, but he's not actually looking at the point this time. He's looking at somebody up. Phillips' ball's found. Well, it's gone in low. Fantastic save. What a score by save. Mark Curry again. It it's not shot. safe yet. Curry's went out. He's chasing the ball. Why well, he's net. hit the side net? Well, That's a great bit, of, a great chance for Michael Ford. But what a save! By Mark Curry and I see him. He is lying on the ground now. Now he appears to be. Now. It's been an action-packed second half. It's been action. It's been an exciting game for everybody to watch. Two eighteen to two sixteen. Mark Curry's back up on his feet. I think he just lately got a bit of breath back. He was under pressure there for a minute. As we see there in the. Ladies here dishing out plenty of soup and stuff to the oh, yeah. number of supporters round. And Neil midfielder now, Daniel Huon. Ah, brilliant. Brilliant play by Brilliant work, Sean Corrigan back to Fenton again, look. That's, that's, good, that's the final whistle going. 218 to 216. Oh, Fermanagh win. A great win by Fermanagh. Superb win. Okay. Um, it didn't look like the early on. Mayo definitely started the better. Mayo started the better, and we knew that. Uh, I watched the way at the board. Well, I didn't see the board going up for how long injury time was played in the second half, but I'm not that complaining. Three additional minutes. It's going to be a bit of a journey home for the Mayo people, but um, uh, Joe Ball will be ecstatic of that victory today. That was a great victory. Very hard work by everybody in the Fermanagh team. And that's being great. said, that's without Daniel Teague to come back in. Yeah, Daniel Teague missing them. Uh, Tom Keenan, I saw him out pucking about on the field today. With any luck, we can get him back in there. He's well, going to have to earn his place, of course. Could you pick a man of the match today, Peter? Uh, 
it'd be hard for me on the on the side not to be giving it to Luca McCusker. He played serious stuff. So Vanna get two points and their next game in round three will be a home clash with Russ Common. Everybody lifts their head a wee bit when you win. Certainly do. Thanks very much for following. I've been Port McGordon with me today is Peter Bogue and we'll hopefully chat you soon again. Thanks very much, Port. Good man. From the kids enjoying their first taste of action at a blitz to our senior sides competing at the highest level and everyone in between, it is our aim to give them every chance to simply be the best they can be. To do that, we have to ensure that our players at all ages and in all grades have the tools and the facilities to help them achieve that goal and fulfil their potential. To that end, we have ambitious plans in place to upgrade and improve the centre at Listen bringing it up to the standard that meets the modern needs and requirements of all our county teams. And for our vision to become a reality, it costs money. In that regard, we are launching this big fundraiser in connection with our fellow hard-working Club Ernia committee members in America. We will be holding a competition to win a house in Fermanagh and have secured a wonderful property in Enniskillen, ideally situated for all the beauty and wonderful tourism spots that Fermanagh has to offer and also perfect for many of the attractions within our island, including the Wild Atlantic Way. Attractions such as the Marble Arched Caves, the wonderful Loch Erne, Crumb Castle and Balik Pottery will all be on your doorstep if you win this fantastic prize. The house, a new four bedroom, detached house in an exciting new development on the outskirts of our county town in Eskillen is a superb prize, whether you're a local or if you're looking for a home to enjoy a holiday. Thank you for your support as we step forward with this venture to improve the facilities that will give every young person in Fermanagh the opportunity to be the best they can be.